Congratulations. Bobby Smurda comes home to a king's wel- welcome. Bro, bro held it down like a G. Bro held it down like a G. Took extra time for his man, for his mans and them to come home before him. Did everything that a man would do, held it down. So when he come home, he gets a king's welcome. Welcome, everybody. Everybody show him love. No gifts, calls, everything, party, everything. And that's what happens when you do the right thing. When you do the right thing. Now, there's a big difference compared to when 6 9 come home. When he come home, he gets the welcome of a rat. Everybody wants to everybody wants to fight him. Everybody challenging him. Motherfucker blackballing him. People disassociating themselves with I'm talking about not niggas. I'm talking about companies, regular companies. Nobody wants nobody really wants to do any business with him. People just cutting him up. People don't want to take his money. Charity don't want his money. Cause it's not. See, people look at him just a regular rat. I don't look at him like just a regular rat. I I I look at him. It's deeper than just him trying to join the game for clout. It's deeper than him trying to <clears throat> join the game for clout. And then when shit got hot, he jumped out the pot. No, I don't look at it like that. I look at that shit was more intentional. I look at that shit was more intentional. I believe the fans already pulled him, pulled him up way before that shit happened and told them him to infiltrate that game. I believe he infiltrated them, went in, went along for the ride and start um, getting them to do shit extra so he, so it could be more charges on them. I believe he, I believe he cooperated with the fans long before he started snitching. I believe he was already a, um, an informant way before that. I believe he, he was used to take them down. They don't look at it that way, but I believe he was already. There was no coincidence. That was his job. And for and for his cooperation, he get life he get um lifelong protection. He get lifelong protection. You could tell he's being protected. His lifelong protection. He he's not paying no money for the protection. That was all for his cooperation to bring down that game. That's the, that's that's what I believe. I know a lot of people don't look at it that way. I just look at shit different. I just see how when he was uh when that when this when that little white girl found out his location where he lived at, he was moved out of there that night. He was his his location was he was moved. Why the fair why the fans moved this motherfucker that fast? Because he, because he's a, because he probably, he's probably, he, he's in there. He's in there. That's what he do. He's a, he worked for the feds. He got lifelong protection. But Bobby, Bobby is the big difference. Bobby got love. Bobby going to get on. And down the line, Bobby going to make, Bobby going to make, his, Bobby going to make history probably with his music and, and, and um his connections. And this motherfucking rat just gonna be living in, living on the outskirts, just living on the outskirts, picking up cheese and and, and crumbs wherever he can get them at. And it's hopefully that somebody gonna try to catch him slipping. I don't want to live like that. Even though I don't believe I don't believe he ever gonna get caught slipping because he got police protection. If you wanna, if you wanna take your chance and try to kill a police to get to him, then, then and he's not that important. He's not gonna catch him slipping. I won't even think about trying to catch him slipping. Just ignore this motherfucker because you got to kill the police to get to him. Is it worth? If you is it worth you going to a pine, pine saw, pine saw, um, pine saw box for the rest of your life, or going to the electric chair trying to get to this motherfucker? Then you go ahead at him. But the difference between Bobby Smurda and 6 9 man. One one get treated like a king and one get treated like a rat. <laughs>